coming, sir? Come. Please. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Good evening sir. Please take seat. Parichay, uh, sir. Sir, my uh, code is GAV, and uh, I'm a doctor by profession. I MBBS or sir, I completed my bachelor of dental surgery Dentist. in 2015. Yes. After that, sir, I pursued my masters in oral and maxillofacial surgery, which is a branch of master of dental surgery. I completed that in 2018. After that, sir, I worked as a consultant for a year in various hospitals and clinic as a oral and maxillofacial surgeon. In 2019, sir, I started to prepare for civil services. And uh, sir, last year I got uh, 59th rank in GPSC. And uh, I was given uh, Assistant Welfare Commissioner designation in Gujarat Labor Welfare Board, which is in the capacity of sir, Government Labor Officer. I joined Gujarat Labor Welfare Board in November 2022, sir. So this is a class two post? Yes, sir. So now you are aspiring for what? Sir, my preferences are Deputy Superintendent of Police, then, sir, Gujarat Administrative Services, and then, sir, Mamladdha, sir. No Assistant Commissioner, GS. So that is fourth preference, sir. Fourth, sir. okay. You give you Mamladdha first preference, third preference. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, sorry, date of interview? Sir, my date of interview is 26th September. 26th. Yes, sir. And your hobbies? Sir, uh, uh, I do not have hobbies as such, but my general interests are, sir, I watch cricket and tennis. So isn't it surprise that you are highly qualified and still working as only class 2 officer in a department which is far away from your qualification? Yes, sir. Has any, uh, is there any connection or uh, relation sir, I, where you can perform better? Uh, sir, when I started uh, to prepare for civil services, I thought I can uh, work better for the service of humanity in wider capacity, sir. So when I cleared this exam last year, sir, my rank was uh, not up to the expectation so that I can become a gas cadre. But I thought that I should join the government because I will get the experience of administration in uh, various capacity. And then, sir, after that, I can utilize this experience in better administrations if I get uh, gas cadre or DYSP this Why year. Why do you want to become a police officer? Uh, sir, uh, there are various reasons, sir. Uh, first one is, sir, uh, thankless job nature. Sir, when I was in medical field, sir, I was involved in long, long hour shifts of medical work also. After that, sir, uh, uh, I can know the stress management also because in medical field there are some critical decisions which can be uh, very much important in saving patients' life. Uh, sir, in police sector also there are uh, certain decisions which can be very critical. So that is one thankless job nature is that. Then second one is, sir, consistency in the services. Sir, uh, if I continue in one service as a Deputy Superintendent of Police, it will bring expertise and efficiency in me. And uh, third reason is, sir, uniform. Uh, when I was a doctor, sir, I was wearing apron. And uh, as a surgeon, I was wearing surgical scrubs, sir. Uh, in police services, sir, I will wear the uniform in khaki color, sir. So this uniform will give me self-esteem sense of pride and also it, it will give me a sense of responsibility that I have a job to do and uh, I will serve better. And uh, sir, development and policing goes hand in hand. Only a safe society can become a progressive society, sir. So this but overall the impression of police department is not that good in the mind of public. People generally avoid meeting policemen or calling policemen or meeting or uh, going to police station. Yes, sir. I think uh, the uh, reason for the that... The behavior, the harassment, yes, sir. the negative attitude. Yes, sir. I think uh, due to the outlook and the behavior and various reasons for that, the public... Uh, While doctor public, is next to God. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, but I think nowadays the scenario has changed. In current scenario, the police are becoming more and more sensitive towards citizens, sir. And uh, there are various uh, things which have... Uh, steps which have taken by Gujarat Police and uh, Indian Police Services also, sir. Do you know anything about the uh, organization structure in the district, in any of the district? Uh, in police Who service, heads the district? Sir. Police service, sir. No, general uh -huh. administration. Uh, sir, district collector. Uh, district collector is heading the yes, sir. Then district there will, administration. Uh, yes, sir. Then? Then, sir, uh, regional additional collector, RIC, sir, regional additional collector. Resident, sir. Resident additional collectors. Sir, then there is there are deputy collectors. And then, sir, uh, 
they work in prant or sub division sir and then mamlat they carry out all the works no sir these people or is there any office which carries out developmental works yes sir district development officer also will be there then there uh, deputy more? deputy dido also will be there subordinate still there is him. one more uh, not able to recall sir right now and then on police side yes sir the superintendent of police will uh, head the district police organization sir in districts uh, where there is a uh, superintendent of police system is working the sp is the in charge of the law and order and uh, in Who commis- will look after traffic aspects uh, sir uh, dcp traffic in commissionerate system sir where no in a districts where there is no commissionerate uh, uh, sir i am not aware of it sorry uh. sir yes <clears throat> okay can you narrate me the law and uh, enactment procedure how the law is enacted sir there are various codes for which uh, the punishments are given sir the one is indian penal code and one is crpc the indian penal code sir uh, describes the punishments which are to be given to the convicts and the crpc sir the criminal procedure code it describes the procedure in which detail procedure in which the law should be enacted uh, only aware what about what is the legislative role uh, sir no uh, i am not aware right now sir. you are not aware of you must have studied no indian polity constitution and all then law and criminal procedure is Uh, not able to recall now sir yeah. the question is different and you are answering something different yeah yes courts are there to protect law or see that everything is as per law you are asking that you are saying that law is framed as per the directions of the court that is something very strange mm-hmm. hmm so please understand the question properly what is the difference between draft bill and law uh, and sir, act yes sir a draft bill is proposed by uh, a cabinet minister or a private member also okay. once the bill is proposed into the parliament sir then uh, it passes into various stage the first stage sir uh, the bill also is given for the public opinion also after that sir it is given uh, to the uh, parliamentary standing committee also and the various members of the is parliament required? Uh, no sir it is uh, not required but to give a wider opinion and for various wider consultation and okay for delegation sir the bill is uh, uh, sent to the de- parliamentary standing committee various uh, members of the different parties they study the bill and they give their suggestions to make the law law better and after that sir once the draft is ready it is put for the vo- voting sir and once the voting is done draft sir, is ready can you make it clear what is draft and what is bill man sir after the draft is uh, approved and then it is proposed as a bill and the bill is passed by the voting into the parliament mm-hmm. okay can you differentiate code and act mm, no sir right now no what is code and what is act indian penal code CRPC criminal procedure court and evidence act uh sir not all right right now difference okay what are executive powers sir executive powers which are in district sir it is given to the district collector so they work in the under which norm uh, under which provisions that you know and the land revenue code is there sir then no don't mix it with the his executive powers we are talking about is a magistrate uh, yes sir he is a, he works as a executive magistrate there is a judicial magistrate and there but is but under a, which provision is there any provision in crpc uh, uh the 1860 i think sir the crpc which was formed at the british yeah, it's okay, era but any provision within crpc about executive powers not able to recall right now sir okay yeah then uh so sir they are uh, uh they are okay, the boss. can you differentiate judicial magistrate uh and executive magistrate so 
what are the roles of judicial magistrate and executive magistrate sir executive magistrate sir they give judgments on uh, land revenue or uh, there are di different disputes which are uh, under the capacity of executive magistrate at that time they are the person who can give judgments on executive uh, actions in which matters uh, sir custodial death uh, custodial death they uh, they can ask for the investigation executive magistrate can ask oh. so they can inquire into the procedure that whether there should not be any access into the what is the role of executive magistrate please clarify basic role uh, not able to say right now okay judicial magistrate Judicial magistrates, sir, they uh, work in the power of judge. Uh, they can be, sir, metropolitan judge or civil judge, and uh, civil judge. Judge and magistrate are two different things. Not able to recall, sir. CPC and CRPC, you know. Yes, sir. Ha, huh, sir. Yes. Hmm? Civil so procedure code. Civil and matter. Huh. 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 Civil, civil procedure yes. code and criminal procedure code. Okay. okay. So the magistrate is as per the uh, criminal procedure code. Uh, anyway, uh, can you tell me uh, a good scheme of the Gujarat government? Sir, in Gujarat Labor Welfare Board, sir, we run 14 schemes uh, which are. Uh, work for the which is basically uh, entitled for the industrial labor sir which scheme uh, sir we have uh, various schemes first one is sir mobile medical van scheme in that sir we have uh, tied up with gvk mm -hmm. and uh, with gvk sir we have 24 mobile medical vans which uh, goes into the gidc at the designated site they do the primary health checkup of the industrial labor sir in various factories and they perform primary health care test uh, and give medications free of cost sir Okay, you worked as assistant welfare officer. Yes, sir. Right now you are, yes, na? Sir. Yes, sir. So, what are the statutory requirement for any organization for the labor welfare? Uh, sir, we have a labor welfare fund uh, and labor welfare board uh, which was constituted in 1961. So, that time, sir, uh, Bombay Labor Welfare Act Fund Act was constituted. After that, sir, bifurcation of Bombay State when Gujarat State in, came into formation. So, Gujarat Labor Welfare Fund rules 1961 came into the power, sir. So, that uh, gave uh, various uh, enactments for the Labor Welfare uh, Board to act into that capacity to work for the welfare of laborers, sir. But which, what they have to maintain, if any of the establishment, right, uh, whatever production unit or any establishment, right? What they need to maintain, uh, sir? Uh, license, factory license. Uh, okay. Then, sir, labor welfare fund also they have to pay. Then, minimum wages act is there, sir. There are various acts which uh, we work in uh, as a capacity of government labor officer. So, when we inspect the company to oversee the welfare conditions, at that time we see minimum wages act, then payment of gratuity act, payment of bonus act. Then, sir, uh, the overtime register is maintained or not. Then, sir, fine register is maintained or not. The graduate form F is maintained. Yeah. Okay. Tell me some of the schemes of uh, state government pertaining to your department. Welfare schemes, yeah, labor welfare. Welfare of the labors. Yes, sir. Uh, in labor skill development and employment department, sir. Uh, there are various organs which work for the uh, welfare of the laborers also as well the students also. So if I talk about Department of Employment and Training, sir, we have ITIs working for the empowerment of students to increase their vocational capacity. Then if I talk about sir, building and other construction welfare board, so they work for the sir, un unorganized labor. They, they run various welfare schemes which are exclusively for the labor difference work. what is the difference between organized labor and un unorganized labor sir uh, unorganized labor is that uh, a labor which is uh, not working into a registered factory he is unregistered sir and gujarat labor welfare board sir the labor welfare board is working exclusively for the industrial labor sir and, uh, what tempts you to select the psp as your first choice 
despite being a surgeon and not and not a deputy collector which is supposed to be a sober post comparatively sir i told uh, that uh, i know the stress management long working hours sir first of all is it is it is my personal choice also uh, then second thing sir i told that uh, the uniform also uh, will bring a self of uh, sense of uh, responsibility and self esteem and pride and uh, sir stress management and long work hours also will help me in police services continuity in uh, that's it good. good 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 reply that's my personal choice right answer we have given some suggestions which you can refer and improve your performance right most difficult question is switch over from dentistry to this that you have to justify you already switched over but again you are assistant welfare officer huh? yes sir so paradigm shift as such from yes. welfare to police yes, hmm? labor to police i mean yes sir hmm. and read these all huh? yes In sir detail. quality basics i think i have yeah. to work on that labor issues they may ask statutory requirements yes, right recent amendment labor laws factory act Court zone wages, the four labor codes which came. Court zone, occupational health and safety. Many changes. Court zone, four days working. Industrial Industrial Disputes Act. Yes, sir. ID Act. Yes, sir. And more about these also. These you are you have your first priority for DYSP, but you haven't read anything about. Uh, yes, sir. The, hmm? I'll I'll read, sir. And Just very read. basic enactment procedure you missed. Yes, sir. Huh. You may visit a uh, office, police. police of uh, station or yes sir any office where dysp is working uh, sir last week it. we had one uh, uh, seminar where safin hasan sir came in labor welfare board only yeah. so i'll meet him sir and you can visit yes sir or you can visit a vis- uh, revenue once office he also. was once he was also like you yes he, he appeared as a mock for uh, his uh, gpsc services i mean uh draft bill uh, when the government prepares it it is a draft yes. right when when it is presented in the house then it becomes bill it is the property of the house yes. right then we can't say it is the bill yes. right and after three readings if the house passes it then it is law so when governor or president who so ever ah, gives their ten, yeah. and when it is published notified then it becomes act and it means here the judicial ministry exhumer is very uh, uh, sir refined, i have written everything but uh, refined, not refined block we have made it na uh, read it very clearly yes, sir. It. Uh-huh. code and act difference of code yes sir i will read uh-huh. but you have contact with safin hasan then better you will clarify everything uh uh-huh. yes sir i will uh yeah all the you asking for an appointment he will yes sir thank you just sir. write all these doubts yes sir uh-huh. yes okay sir okay thank you sir